Hey guys, Help101 Nick here to help, and today we're going to be starting our Minecraft server series right here in the Help101 network, and I'm going to be doing this series, and we're going to be covering all the stuff about setting up a Minecraft server from installing it to forwarding your IP so your friends uh, or family can join your Minecraft server. So... First things first, why do you want to watch this video? Well, if you just search on YouTube or on Google how to set up a Minecraft server, there's hundreds of thousands of other videos. But in all of these other videos, what they lack is detail. They're 15 minutes of videos, and they cover everything in that one video. And it's not enough in the one video to really cover it for somebody that's never set one up before. Uh, I've set up about 10 of these servers so I can do it from memory. So, you know, I don't need to watch those videos, but somebody that's never set it up before or has no knowledge how to set it up is going to really struggle when they're just flying through websites, clicking on things, and the server is done. So we're really going to take our time to help out people that need to get a server up for their use or their friend's use. All right. So first things first, what will you need? You'll need a computer with at least two gigs of RAM. Now your server is going to need one gig of RAM to run. So if you only have two gigs of RAM on your computer, the server is not going to run well at all. Four gigs of RAM is what I would suggest, but if the only thing you have available is two, uh, you'll just have to make it work. Also, see if you have a dedicated machine. If you have a computer in your basement from you know three or four years ago that nobody uses, Try booting that up and seeing if it's got a gig or two of RAM. That's what I use for uh, the Minecraft server that I host. It's an older computer, and it just runs the server, and that's all it does. So you're going to need a computer with at least two gigs of RAM. The next thing that you will need is an internet connection with at least one megabit up. Now, why is this important? Because people are going to be connecting to your internet connection to get onto your server and they're not going to have to come to your house and connect to your internet but they're going to connect through the internet and then use yours to connect to the minecraft server so you're going to need to have a decent internet connection so that your friends aren't lagging like crazy on the server and the last thing you're going to need is patience this is a very stressful process there's a lot of troubleshooting because the computers are so different and how things are installed so i highly recommend you guys if you have any issues just leave a comment and i will try to get back to you and help you through it because there is always issues when people are trying to set up these servers so now that we've covered the requirements for the minecraft server let's get into getting the actual server itself so what we're going to have to do is download a program called bucket b u k k i t and you'll see it right here, bucket.org. And you'll load up the first homepage right here. You'll see the bucket logo at the top, and you'll see a form post that says Craft Bucket for Minecraft 1.0.1 is now available. It is also referred to as Craft Bucket, but in this series, we will refer to it as Bucket. So, what you will do is download the Craft Bucket 1.0.1. Right there, it'll open up a uh, new window or whatever. It'll download it, and it'll save as a .jar, which is a Java run file. And then now, you'll just drag it to your desktop and create a new folder. I'm going to call it MC Server, and just drag the file in there. Now... Once we have loaded it up, we're going to make it uh, icons large so that you guys can actually see what they look like. And now you'll just see the Java file here, but you can't open that up. What you have to do is create a new text document. And I'm going to call this one Run32. Now if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer, it's going to be a different code. So if you have a 32-bit computer, You'll paste in this code, which I will have in the description. And you'll save it as. 
a run32.bat. Oops, so that didn't work. Run32.bat. And it'll have this gear on it, and that's how you know that one worked. And we'll do the same again. Save this one as run64. Dot BAT and we'll have the run 64. So I have a 64 bit computer, so I'll be using a run 64. Double click it and it'll open up as CMD, and you'll see all of these files have just spawned behind us. And now it is preparing the spawn area. Basically, it's creating the world. And you know, if you've ever created a Minecraft single player, you know how it. Uh, takes a little bit to load and render the world out. This is basically what it's doing right now. It's just creating all of the different areas for level 1 and level 0 and level 2 and whatnot. It'll create all of the different seeds so that, you, hey, you can spawn there. And as you can see, it's done for help and whatnot. So what we're going to do now is now that we've got that open, we're going to stop. And you can see console stopping the server, stopping server, saving chunks, and then you will get a thing that says server's closed. Press any key to continue. Just press that, and it will end it. So we're going to delete run32 now. And as you can see, we've got our world files in here. We've got the nether in here. And we've got world the end then we've got band ips to band players ops permissions the server and the whitelist so we're going to open up server properties with notepad plus plus which i suggest you guys download i'll leave a link in the description and this is basically where you will edit your server properties uh, we'll just run through this quick allow nether true you can name your world whatever. I'd suggest keeping it world because that's normally when you download plugins, that's what it will keep. Level seed, I'd leave that alone. You can choose if you want a whitelist or not. You can uh, spawn animals, true. Online mode, true, which basically means if people don't have uh, actual Minecraft but have cracked Minecraft, they can join. Uh, you can change the difficulty, the game mode, the max players, and the message of the day. We will make... Mine craft server help one on one. We'll make that for the message of the day. Well, the view distance will change. You can change spawn monsters and uh, you know all this different stuff. And we will save it. And that's all we will cover in this first video. The next video, we're going to be covering how to actually get this server out to the internet so people can join your server. So, guys, thank you for watching, and the next video will be out soon. Hey guys, help one on one Nick here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, send us a private message here on YouTube or email us. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Help 101 Nick, out.